everyone and welcome back to Fox Tech, your go-to channel for everything tech related and all the tutorials you might ever need. This time let's talk about how you can change the passcode on your Apple Watch. Because as you can see, I can't get inside it, I can't open up my Apple Watch without having to type in my passcode. I use it, it's a good feature. But how do I change it? It's relatively simple. All you have to do is to go ahead and then locate at the settings. You don't even need to use the iPhone. You can get all the steps done within the Apple Watch. So go to the settings, open it up and scroll down until you see the red section called passcode. So right now you have two options. You can either turn it off or change the passcode. So we're, we're going to tap on change passcode. At first, you have to type in your current one. So this is my passcode right now. And now you have to enter a new passcode. So I'm going to just choose the same passcode or I mean, you get the point. You can just type in a new one, repeat it once again. You're going to have to repeat it to confirm it. And after completing this process, the Apple Watch will be secured with the new passcode, replacing the old one. However, you should also know the different options for the passcode available for you. Because by default, it's four digits. I believe that it is a useful or the most common way to approach passcode on Apple Watch, but it's definitely not the only thing available. Within the passcode section, if you scroll down a bit more, you can see simple passcode option or a toggle, which for me is enabled. You can see the green color there, it is active. And as you can see, it just jumped out of it, interestingly enough. But Again, you can see simple passcode when this is on. Apple Watch unlocks with a simple four-digit passcode. So if you disable it and you have to confirm your passcode once again, but right now you're going to be able to not only create a passcode with four digits, but keep on going. And you can even just choose like 10 digits because there are so many different combinations and you're going to have a passcode which is much more secure so four digits passcode is not the only option available so just keep that in mind in case you are changing your passcode there are more options than just the four digits one so yeah i don't use it personally i'm not sure if i would recommend it but the options are there so thank you so much for watching i really do hope that you found this video useful and informative for more content and tutorials like this one, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Fox Tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out, guys.